I'm an award-winning fine art photographer, Sheila Prebright, sometimes described as a cultural anthropologist. In 2007, I thought about the future of the country. I am particularly reflected on the role of my father, who served in the United States Army in Vietnam War twice, earning a bronze star and a purple heart. As I considered where I stood for America's future, based upon my history, I thought about America's new leadership. It was Generation Y, the largest generation of our time, who were coming of age. I wanted to know more about them. Under a generous grant from the Aetna Foundation, I traveled to cities offering them a creative platform to express sentiments about America. I didn't tell them what to do with the flag. I only gave them a voice. The Young Americans photographic series premiered at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta as a solo show during election year 2008. After showing the work in museums and galleries, I felt it was important to take the work to the streets. Considering the social struggles prevailing in America and globally, I knew the series would be useful to engage with communities. Under the curation of Keith Schleifer, an acclaimed street curator, the work appeared on public walls. The images on public walls sparked a new vision, exploring youth and activism. My research led me to the civil rights era, a time my parents were in their youth. Growing up as an Army brat, I realized I didn't know much about civil rights other than the role of Martin Luther King Jr. and groups who were described as radical. In 2012, I connected with the community of that era, starting at Wheat Street Baptist Church, a historical site for the Atlanta Student Movement, a community of youth in the 1960s who believed in a future outside of Jim Crow laws. After spending time with these community leaders, I wanted to know more about their experiences and why they had been silent. Some Americans view activism of 1960 as a racial struggle rather than a human struggle, but every generation around the world has experienced a form of struggle. In my new work, I'm committed to unite generations, educate and inspire communities to embrace positive solutions for social change. October 2013, I will launch the 1960 Who Public Art Series, showing larger-than-life portraits of freedom riders and members of the Atlanta Student Movement. The portraits will appear in public series along the Freedom Trail where generations of Atlantans will witness images of people from their communities who changed the world. The project will not stop in Atlanta. With your support, I will visit other communities celebrating our activism as a world community.